from House Intel Committee Chairman Mike Rogers, who says the reason the investigation into the Benghazi terror attacks appears stalled is because the Obama administration wants to treat it like a criminal proceeding and bring all of the accused into a federal courtroom. Catherine Harris is live in Washington with more on this story. So, Catherine, mm -hmm. what's the latest on this? Well, Jenna, good morning. The head of the House Intelligence Committee, who was briefed on the status of the Benghazi investigation this week, tells Fox News that the administration's determination to prosecute the suspects in criminal courts, also referred to as Article III courts, with access to defense attorneys, has thrown up roadblocks. I think the treating this like a criminal event uh, and using this Article Three, which is you know, what, what a, an, uh, an American citizen would go through with all the rights of the Constitution, I just think I don't know how anyone could come to the conclusion that it hasn't slowed it down. And Roger says there is overwhelming frustration expressed by federal investigators who did not get access to this crime scene. You're seeing some new photos of the aftermath until nearly three weeks after the fact, adding that identifying and questioning witnesses is a virtually impossible standard to meet. The Libyan government, according to the outgoing FBI director, he told Fox that it was too unstable to really offer the U.S. the kind of support it needs for such a complex international case, Jenna. Well, if that's true, then are there other options also being explored here besides this, this criminal proceeding? Well, it's a good question. We asked the congressman whether the Benghazi case was ultimately a kill or capture situation. And Roger says there is evidence now that the suspects remain on the battlefield and active within their terrorist organizations. These are the images of the suspects that were released by the FBI in May. And the congressman says there is virtually no discussion of picking up the men and bringing them to Guantanamo Bay for detention and interrogation in part because the Obama administration had renew, has renewed its push to close the military detention camp in Cuba before the end of the president's second term. On the bringing them to justice, this has been a slow and painful process. There is a lot of concern, and I have some of this, that we have not laid all the options on the table uh, for finding these individuals and then bringing them to justice. And Roger says this isn't simply a part an issue. This is the kind of frustration with the delays that is being felt by all members of the House Intelligence Committee, Jenna. At this time last year, we were trying to put together the pieces of what happened in Benghazi on September 11th, and we're still, we're still trying to do that. Catherine, thank you.